genocide, guys, genocide. There are two mothers a day dying in Gaza right now in support for the Palestinians who are having a genocide committed against them. We are bombing the poorest, one of the poorest countries in the world. I'm so sorry your Amazon packages are delayed. I really am. Like, I wish mine came on time. Sky News had on Dr. Miriam Francois to discuss the Palestinian-Israeli conflict and the actions of the Houthis, where Sky News was clearly trying to present this in a very anti-ceasefire type of way, in which Miriam just shatters to bits instantly. They not only try to make the case for no ceasefire, but that we should instead be bombing the Houthis. Now, while the Houthis, I do believe, act mostly in their own self-interest and are largely counterproductive, the doctor does a great job pointing out some of the hypocrisy in their worldview. Frankly, the Biden administration should have acted sooner and faster, that hundreds of billions of dollars uh, has been put at risk because the Houthis have held uh, this area in the Red Sea um, at ransom. Sorry, so just let me get this straight, Yelda. So we are bombing the poorest, one of the poorest countries in the world that has been under a humanitarian blockade. There has been famine. These people have been decimated. And we are bombing them because a couple of guys in dinghies in support for the Palestinians who are having a genocide committed against them. They're objecting to that and we're bombing them. Come on now. I mean, well, this it, is just I, an insane world for us to even think. I'm so sorry your Amazon packages are delayed. I really am. Like, I wish mine came on time. But, you know, genocide, guys, genocide. There are two mothers a day dying in Gaza right now. It's 109 days. Now, this does give a sense of legitimacy on a global scale to the Houthis, which, again, I do think is the strongest motivator for them. But to be an Arab nation, at least in show, standing in solidarity with the Palestinians, Palestinian struggle is at least more than any of the other Arab nations have been doing. I mean, these are horrific acts going on in Gaza, ones at least ostensibly being justified by the United States, and of course those nations are going to want to thumb at US imperialism. We've indiscriminately bombed this region for decades and decades always back their oppressors when we weren't bombing them. I mean, these are countries that aren't going to look at us with the strongest of reverence. I'm sorry to tell you guys. We don't have much legitimacy in that region. And also, this is kind of common practice for allies in geopolitics. We acted in solidarity with Ukraine. We're sending them weapons. Before we entered World War II, we stood in solidarity with our allies, sending them any assistance they need and weapons, ships, all of that. This is how geopolitics works. It just comes down to these comfortable, rich fucks in America thinking that shit isn't fair when it happens to us. And not only that, but the way that we're portrayed is like day and night. When America bombs thousands of countries, sends weapons to allies, you know, partakes in geopolitics, being white people, we're supposed to be respected for that. But when brown people do it, they're just being barbaric. So call a ceasefire now and end the positive branding. If you want to stop the Houthis doing what they're doing, then call a Do ceasefire right now. Do you genuinely believe right that now. the Houthis would, would stop doing what they're doing? If they have literally said that that's why they're doing what they're doing. They have not previously blocked those routes for any other reason except this one. So yes, I do. And I also think the West needs to start to understand that you can't just go around playing cowboys in the world. There are consequences to your actions. You cannot just go around bombing people's countries, ignoring international law and expect no repercussions. For every cause, there is a consequence. And just because you don't like a couple of guys trying to resist... I mean, these the fact are that this is... now prescribed terrorists. Uh, sure, the according to Western governments, well, they are also terrorist according to the yeah. Yemeni people. Because yeah, they've which is a Saudi-backed been... government, yeah. which is essentially our... If you're worried about extended shipping times or raised inflation because of the Houthi attacks to the point that you think it's justified to bomb them... Consider that half a million people are starving in Gaza without electricity. What should we do about that? Whether or not you think the Houthis are truly in solidarity with Gaza and the Palestinians, I do think if a ceasefire is called, they would stop. I mean, they would have to. They weren't doing it prior to these attacks, and the optics clearly change if a ceasefire is called. Right now, it gives them legitimacy. It's a show of strength. If a ceasefire was called and they continued to make these attacks, they would undoubtedly get blown off the map by America. There's no reason to think if this continues, this that this would continue if a ceasefire was called. Obviously, there is just something to be said about now calling for a ceasefire in response to actions like this and it potentially justifying countries acting like this to get what they want down the line. 
But there is also something to be said about the arrogance of the West to believe that we can just run around playing a cowboy in other countries, bombing at will, orchestrating coups, crashing entire countries' economies. And we feel as if the moral question for us when we do this is always nuanced or complex. It's not that simple. But if it's brown people, if it's an Arab country, if it's someone we deem communist, it's always just black or white if they're in the right or wrong. And it's usually wrong. But in the end, that train of thought is just racist. As soon as America bombs someone, the rationalizations, the justifications all come up. But if an Arab country does it, well, then they have to be terrorists, right? If you enjoyed this video, we're Social Society. We're a commentary channel influenced by politics, society, and the economy. We are pretty left-leaning on this channel, but we're open to our right-wingers as well. The biggest thing here is having conversations where everyone gets to the bottom of the truth. If that sounds like something that can interest you, consider smashing that subscribe button, leaving us a like, or even commenting on this video. We even have memberships available as low as $3 for those who want to support the channel, because the only way we become a society is together.